insurance plan, and that uh, is that I want to talk to you about some different types of supplemental insurance that you may be interested in getting. Um, so let me just cover what they are and what their benefits are to you and help you make a decision as to whether or not that's a good thing for you in your life. So first let's talk about a critical illness policy. And this is a type of policy that does not pay your medical bills. It's not the purpose of this. It pays money directly to you in a lump sum in the event of certain sp specified events. What those events are is dependent upon what company you're dealing with. They will outline what those are. This is money that would help you pay household bills, mortgage, health insurance premiums, travel expenses if you need to go out of town for treatment, or anything else that you want. You can pay for your kids' college education for it if you wanted to after the fact. But, again, it is money that goes directly to you. They vary in type and they vary in scope. Some companies offer plan for every type of possible event, such as one for cancer, one for heart attack. Other companies, they combine all of the crisis critical illnesses into a single policy. So the way it works is like this. Let's assume that you have a critical illness policy that covers lots of critical illnesses such as heart attack, stroke, cancer, kidney failure, etc. The policy you paid for is a $50,000 policy. One day you go to the doctor, you're diagnosed with cancer. You mail, fax, email, whatever, the diagnosis to the insurance company and they immediately will mail you a check out for $50,000. They don't have to use there don't have to be any medical bills associated with it. Just on the first diagnosis, you are written a check for the amount that is specified. So while it's not true health insurance, I did want to share some information with you about it because it does help. It does relate to your health and your ability to pay your bills should something critical happen. Now these policies are generally very inexpensive and worth their weight in gold if you need it because we all the time hear about people who are going bankrupt because of medical bills. Oftentimes, it has nothing to do with the medical bills themselves. It is who's going to pay the house payment, who's going to pay for the health insurance, who's going to buy the groceries because I'm in chemotherapy treatment and I can't go to work for six months. So I would definitely check those out if those are things that are of concern to you. I hope this helps. Have a great day.